jumpy, 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 jumpy. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sick. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode, we fell from another great height and lived. We pick up this old guy. We did a lot of old per. Did a lot of old person voices, beat up a child, and got this mushroom. And we're gonna read a tutorial. So yeah, this episode we're gonna get that, read a tutorial, hit this block, read another tutorial, which again, what this does is just fill up your health completely. That's about it. Anyway, over here we have the introduction of stone blocks. We cannot break them just yet. I like how the game developers, they kind of put this right at the beginning, saying like, Hey, you can break this, just not yet. Just such a tease. Anyway, there's going to be a tiny little hidden secret over here. It's not really that hard to find. Jump here, get some floating coins, and get this. This is a fire flower. You use it in battle, and then you... Every, every single enemy that it hits will take three damage. Heads up, Mario! I see bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or hammer, you'll get the first strike when you enter the battle. So what he's explaining is we can strike first if we do this. The first strike lets you do it, get an attack in before the first turn, which means we'll beat this Goomba right here. Again, what they're doing is, uh, every enemy will be dropping star points, which will help give us a level up. Oh, dear. Hey, this is a spike, Goomba! See the spike on his head? Be careful not to jump on him. You'll definitely get hurt. Alright, so, I, this is kind of obvious right here. Spike Goombas, you cannot jump on them, you could only hammer them. Not much to say about these guys, except they have an extra attack compared to other Goombas. They have an uh, attack that does 2 damage. And here we have another new enemy. The Paragoomba, as this old man will explain right here. Listen up, Mario! The enemy, enemy's flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. To attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack. Pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, just jump right here, take this guy out, and sadly we're gonna have to take a point of damage from this jerk. And I'm gonna get a little re revenge shot right here. Yeah, again, the fights in the early stages of the game really aren't that impressive. It's just hitting back and forth. They get a again, they get a lot better in the future. But for now, I'm probably gonna be cutting out a lot of these fights now that we've shown you all the enemies. And the fights would pretty much just be the bland, same old trading punches. So I'll see you guys after this. Or not, because I just killed him right now. Yay! So I think what I'm going to be doing is trying to kill all the enemies I can to get some early level ups in. Because trust me when I say... This is going to be pretty hard doing a 10 HP run later in the game, so I'm going to try to level, level up as soon as I can. Uh, that little shiny trinket we got back there, that was a star piece. Uh, their use will be explained later on in the game, but I just wanted to get that out of the way now, because it's on the way. Never worry kids, here I am. Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back alright. <laughs> I was locked gate of opening. I'm happy. Goompa, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both of you and the veranda were just plain gone. I'm hip because I have a baseball cap. Uh, Goompa, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. Uh, sorry, kids. I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. Just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound, except for my back. It was a pretty big fall. I might need to go to the hospital. Really, what are you standing here for? Call the hospital! Before I forget, I decided to give you something. Mario, wait here a minute. I don't like waiting in video games. Huh? Hey, that doll you got there. Is that one of Goombaria? That's the one Goombaria lost. She was looking all over for it. 
would you give it back to her? Okay, okay what if I said no? Just this little girl, can I have my dolly back? No! No! But okay, fine, I'll give it back. It's my dolly! Dolly, dolly, you're back! Thank you so much! I'm so happy, my sweet dolly. Don't you ever get lost again. Here's a present for me. Look at the pretty glitter. And we got another star piece, all right. Two for two so far. And take this, too. Oh my god, I'm a pedophile! You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? That's flattering and also kind of creepy. I studied self-defense by reading books the master, books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goomba. So you've never had any training whatsoever. And I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. Starting the show too, I'm getting big muscles. A mushroom getting muscles. Okay, I'll buy it. His head is as hard as a rock. Oh god. When he does his head bonk move, it'll really, really hurt. Oh, be quiet, Kumbaria. You're embarrassing me. Of course it is true. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. Yeah, you better be sorry. It's okay, Goomba. We were just rapping with Mar- Oh, god. He really is supposed to be like the young, hip character. Uh... Rapping? Oh, sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. And here we have our first badge, the Power Jump Badge. This is called a badge. I just said that. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage and stuff. But listen here, and listen well, you'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. Better try first. No, I, I don't want to try first. It'll just waste a lot of time for the Let's Play. No, 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 damn it. Oh my God. I'll see you guys later. And now remember, you need FP flower points to use this power jump technique. You remember that block we saw in the way back to the village? Yeah, I already explained it. I'm just gonna skip this. It also recovers FP, which we're gonna have a lot of later on. By the way, Mario, I heard from Guma. You're taking it upon yourself to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. How did she know? I'd never talked to her. Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Uh, that, yeah, yeah. Oh, now, Mario. Mario, please take this hammer. Well, thank God I get to keep something out of this. Mm. Adventure? Oh, you're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer too someday. Me too! Oh, here's an idea. Mario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child and evil times are upon us. Plus, this lot of dialogue has been going on for way too long. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. What? Really? May I go, Goompa? May I really go? Yeah, oh yeah! Mario, you won't regret this. And here we have our very first party member, Goombario. All partners in this game have special abilities we can, which you can use outside of battles. Goombarios is about explaining the surroundings, nearby characters, and so on. So basically, he's not required, like his ability isn't required to be used, but it helps with tricky puzzles and stuff. He also attacks with a head bonk, so his head bonk also functions like Mario's jump. Way to go, Goombario! Mario, I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbye, so make way of blibber Watch him step outside and fall where the veranda was again. That'd be hilarious. This is cool, Mario. Let's go. But wait, your HP looks a little low. You ought to take a rest at the Toad House. So yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> Take a little rest. Be right back out, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Just gonna take a little save real quick. And uh, something interesting here. Hit this tree, you will get a goom nut. You can only get goom nuts from this tree. So be sure to pick one up on the way on the way back to Toad Town. Because later on, 
you could do some pretty cool stuff with it. I'm not gonna spoil it, but you can. Wait, why am I talking to you? I gotta leave. Damn, finally out of here. There we go, no problem solved. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling you really am them, David. Don't be dumb. Uh, okay, shut up. So here we are in Goomba Village. Beware of Goombas. Oh my god! They know how to paperize. Hey Mario. During battles, you can change the order we can attack with Z. So let's just try that right now. We'll have Goombario use his second ability, Tattle. Uh, Tattle basically brings up an enemy bio. Um, I don't think I'll be doing this for every enemy in the game. Goombas are what you'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait a minute! I'm one of them! Haha, <laughs> Goomba humor! Max HP is 2, attack power is 1, defense power is 0. You can jump on them or whack them with a hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Brothers. So yeah, after you've tattled them, Goombas will start to have health bars now. Or any enemy that you tattle will have a health bar in the future. I don't think I'm going to be using Goombario's ability, because later on... I'm, he's not going to be... Bleh, 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 bleh. As I was saying before, I don't think I'm going to be using Goombario's title ability on every single enemy in the game, because there's a badge later on, which will make every character's health, any enemy's health, visible. There, I said it. Is that so hard? <sighs> we got star points! Yay! So, Goomba Road. Uh, this place isn't really that long. It's a good place to start trying to level up when you're starting out. Yeah. Really not much to say about this place, honestly. It's just a road with Goombas. And they're all pretty much the same. No defining characteristics whatsoever. Yay! Alright, moving on. You're gonna watch out for the Spike Goomba right here. And you know, I think now that we have Goombario out, we should probably tattle him. This is a Spiked Goomba. Spiked Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. No kidding. Max HP is 2, attack power is 2, defense power is 0. Attack power 2, oh, we have a badass over here. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes or you'll get hurt or even paralyzed. Okay, that part about the, you know, paralysis he was talking about, I've never had that happen to me. Like, ever. I've jumped on spiked enemies all the time before in this game, that has never happened to me. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird, maybe... Maybe I'm just lucky? I don't know. KILL YOUR OWN KIND! Yes, you're learning well, my son. I guess that's kind of the pun on his name, Goombario, Mario, and he's wearing cap and all. Anyway, these red blocks will always contain badges. So, close call, when Mario's in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. Uh, for a 10 HP run, this is extremely helpful, so I think I'm gonna equip both of these. Eat a mushroom, gain your energy. You got a mushroom! You hit the Goomba! Oh. I'm not gonna make you guys watch this. Except for this part. This is a Paragoomba. Obviously, Paragoombas are Goombas with wings. Doi. So, nothing really interesting about these guys. Can't hit them with hammer while they're airborne, like they explained before. See you guys after the fight. Ow, my butt. Alright, and we're back. We have a health block over here, because we have something very nasty ahead. Okay, not that nasty, to be honest. Hey, hey, hold it right there! You, yeah, you, suspicious guy! Don't move! Hmm, what should I give these guys? Aha! You're Mario! I knew it! You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot! It's a direct order from the Goomba King! That's right! I'm sorry, but the only way back here is through the Goomba Brothers! That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. 
Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. Mm, hey, boss. So right away, we have our first real mini boss fight. Where, you know, the first one we can actually die at for not being complete morons. We're gonna start off with a quick tattle on Blue Goomba. That is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba brothers. Notorious? I never heard of him. Max HP is 6, attack power 1, defense is 0. As you heard from his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. So, the only difference between him and a normal Goomba is he has more health. That's about it. Uh, this would be a great time to show off the power jump. Three damage. Woohoo! More heal! Yeah, how about we... you like some of this? Ow, I don't like that at all! Stop it! Gonna have my Goombario tattle the red one now. This is Red Goomba. He's the older of the two notorious Goomba brothers. Max, max HP is 7, attack power is 1, defense is 0. The Goomba King ordered him to try to stop us. You can take this guy, no problem. He has just a little more HP than his ordinary Goomba. I think I'm gonna do another power jump and take out Blue Goomba right off the bat. Bam! Look at those star points. Beautiful time. Oh, Blue Goomba! God, my little brother! You'll pay for that, Mario! You made him spin around! Alright, now that I got that out of the way, uh, all it is now between me and this Goomba is we're just trading punches. That's it. Yay! Riveting fights! Yeah, I know, you just hit me and then I hit you. Nothing too super engaging. Jumpity? No! Don't worry guys, it got a lot more interesting later on. Please trust me on that. Ah. This fight is just so... This drags on. Finish him off. Finish him. Fatality. Yeah, I'll let you go for now. <laughs> Alright, so... That concludes this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. We did quite a bit. We left town. We got our first party member, and we defeated a mini-boss. So, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we are going to follow them and hopefully meet their leader, the Goomba King. I've been sick, and I am out of here.